Good morning, my little tattletales. Yo, wake up. We got some news about the Kim Kardashian Roblox. How to sink it, access to seeing a commercial about your sex take breaking news. Y'all, listen, the more and more and more the Kardashians leak to the media and what they show on the show, the more we all got to sit there and be like, listen, like them or love them or hate them, Kanye actually had a point. There are people coming out from international magazines. Hold on, there's a party outside. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just trying to make a video. That's all. I'm just trying to make a video. All right, guys. Anyway, let's get back to business, right? I found a quieter place. So like we were saying, the thing is, Kim Car Kanye's West whole thing with having North on the internet was basically like, baby, you don't monitor the kids. The nannies do. The nannies watch them. I got love for the nannies, right? And Kim was like, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And everybody was just like, what are you talking about? Kim's a great mom. She's going to look after North, this and that. Let me tell y'all something. Just because you love your children does not mean that you're a good parent. Now, mind you, I'm not saying Kim's a bad parent. But for people to be like, she loves a child, are you implying that only unloved children get abused? Because, baby, in this world, you need to grow up, right? Anyway, let's get to this report. The report says... During the season premiere of the Kardashians on Hulu, Kim Kardashian's six-year-old son, St. West, allegedly found a game on Roblox, an online gaming platform and game creation system, advertising a new sex tape of his mother. Now, here's the thing. The Kardashians can come up to and try to wash as much as they want to. At the end of the day, this is how you built your fame, and unfortunately, it's going to keep coming back especially considering allegedly you sold the rights to the tape and that's how you get like your nice residual now it's nice now that you got skims and now that you got keeping up with the kardashian um like makeup perfume whatever the hell y'all selling this month you don't need that coin anymore however you already sold those rights you see what i'm saying anyway let's get into it it says in the episode, Saint goes up to Kim K laughing about seeing a game with her crying face on it and quickly goes to her sister Chloe to see if she can uh, better explain what's happening. Saint corrects his mother when he says it's a character on Roblox, telling her it's a game someone created on the platform. When you click on the game, the ad allegedly pops up promoting a new racy tape. Now you guys know from my old video, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. This new tape, I think, it's not a new tape. I think it's the unedited footage of the first tape, right? So anyway, Kim then calls her chief marketing officer to let her know that her attorney needs to get the game taken off the platform. That's weird. Why would you call the chief marketing officer? Is that Tracy Romulus? I'm just wondering. Oh, I think that is Tracy Romulus. Anyway, it says she also went on to call Kanye West on the phone, which is what she starts crying as Chloe tries to console her. Apparently, Kanye gave Kim some uplifting words that eased her worries, but that's only the beginning of the story, with one Reddit user now claiming that the storyline must be fake for multiple reasons. First reason people thought it was fake. How are cameras just magically uh, rolling while Saint was playing and this game popped up? Two, Chloe was there to console, console you. You know Chloe. Her, her whole career is being on that TV show, right? Three, the timing just seemed like a little suspect, right? Four, a lot of parents, you guys inboxed me and said, there's no one in the world that Robolux would have allowed that on a site for little kids. Now, here's the thing. Now, one of the main reasons they said it was fake is because Kim also looked a hot mess crying and she looked like she was faking her tears. Let me tell y'all something. Kim's whole face is Botox. I don't care what, and listen, I don't have anything against plastic surgery, Botox, nothing like that. But let me just say, Kim is one more injection away against looking like Valley of the Dolls. And I'm not even joking. Her real face might look good in photos, but when she talks, she's starting to look like a she's starting to look like a 60-year-old aging Hollywood star whose whole face is plastic. Let's also not forget she is Botox with an inch of her life. And fillers, while they look pretty when you're sitting still, when you move your face, they look a little bit weird. Do you know to the naked eye moving around? I say also say Kim's crying face looks funny because Kim doesn't even have the capability to actually cry. That's why it looks Botox. I also will say will say look up actual studies that all the medical journals did on Botox and the way it has the it the ability to reduce empathy in the person that actually has Botox it's actually pretty scary I know in plastic surgery we look to see what's medically relevant what's gonna kill us but also has anybody actually thought about the real and lasting psychological effects it has from your face being pro anyway let
Let me, I'm off subject. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to the conspiracy about the way that it's not the fact that they made up that story by, about the Roblox. It's the fact that Kim actually might be a negligent parent. Y'all getting into this? Because it's deep. Okay, now, first, let's talk about what Roblox does to present this. Roblox has, Roblox has a vetting process when it comes to assets of all kinds, including text. How can the word sex tape bypass the filter, right? It goes on to say, the only way Saint could have seen a game with bypass content as if he didn't have age restricted content. They go on to say that if Saint didn't have an age restricted account, then it would be Kim's parental negligence that was the real issue. It seems literally, right? Um, hit the nail on the head. It seems like this person actually hit the nail on the head, especially after Kim tells Kanye over the phone, thank God he, she's talking about Saint, can't effing read yet. But can you, idiot? Anyway, her then, her now ex-husband Kanye supports the claim that Kim K is not the best at parenting. Remember when he called her out in that song, Easy, and everybody said he was being a hater, right? When she, he said in the home, in the song, that Kim resorts to nannies and cameras that help her raise her children. Literally said, I got love for the nannies, but real family is better. The cameras watch the kids, y'all stop taking the credit. Does better and credit rhyme? I guess it did when Kanye said it. it doesn't really rhyme me. I got I got love for the nannies, but real family is better. The cameras watch the kids. Y'all stop taking the credit. Easy. My life has never been easy. Okay, okay, fine. I'll get back on topic. Anyway, it goes on to say, when it comes to fans saying the storyline was fake due, due to her crocodile tears in the clip, those who know the show and Kim K are aware that her crying face always seems acted even, even though it's not. Also, it doesn't take a body language expert to see Kim's mother, Chris, worried about her daughter, self-soothing as Kim speaks with Kanye. Now, let me tell y'all something. I think they're dead wrong about that because I've seen the Kardashians be fake. We all have. Chris and Chloe self-soothing. I saw them reenact that thing with Jordan. Literally, Chloe acting like her soul's being ripped out of her body when she knew at that time that Tristan was doing the horizontal lavada with half the people in the 90210 area code. They better stop. Anyway, it goes on to say, to some of the story, it's safe to say that Saint was likely on Roblox account without any age restrictions, playing on a platform that his mother is clearly unfamiliar with. So the storyline was not fake, but the deeper concern is that Kim's fame is getting in the way of properly raising her four children, y'all. That's the word. But let me just say also this, the fact that even after that happened, Kim, who's so concerned, would make this a storyline do you care about your kids finding out about this or not? And second of all, yo, did Kanye have a point now with North and TikTok and Kim being like, oh my God, you're just over-exaggerating. North's completely uh, protected when you didn't even bother to put an age restriction on a Roblox account? Man, listen, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all soon, but yeah, you already know.